Aaron Harang. He is loaded as a starting pitcher. Now, John, anyone in particular we should keep an eye on? Well, Elvis Andrews is a guy that brings a lot to the table. He can get on base. He can steal a base. He's not going to hit a lot of home runs. He's your typical shortstop. He's going to catch everything hit to him, and he's going to make things happen on the base pass. And we've got Andrews batting. Texas lost yesterday. That was a rare loss after a stretch of six W's in a row. Andrews makes contact, and that's going to be a foul ball. Now well, that last one, they just could not hold on. Turned out they had their chances, though. Well, they certainly did have their chances, but losing late like that, it just seemed like it was a concentration issue. One and one. And he watches the low pitch from Harang. Well, anytime you have a good fastball and you can keep it down in the zone, around the knees or lower, it's great location, and believe me, and very difficult to hit. On the way. You're wow, out. that is strike three, now Elvis Andrus. He didn't even take a hack right at it. He's gone. Number seven. Well, when you establish the inside Ten part of the plate, two. it opens up the outside part of the plate. He goes with the curveball and gets the strikeout. I will take a quick look at the Angels, how they'll be taking the field defensively. Infield, outfield factors in this one, John? Well, you want him in your lineup for his bat first and foremost, but Albert Pujols has made himself a great defender. He's really improved his play at first base. Right, Fastball is in there. It's 0-1. You take a look at what Chu's been up to. He's in a slump right now with just six hits in his last 41 at-bats. Struggling still since the middle of April. He just he lost his stroke at that point. Just sent, can't seem to find it again. Check swing on that pitch, but it found the zone anyway. 0 and 2. Big swing and a miss. Some shoot you. Strike three. He's out of there. Now we're going to get a chance, Gary, to see the four seam fastball in K-Camp. That's how you use your fastball, using it very effectively. Two consecutive punch outs. And a chance here with two away for Prince Fielder. Career numbers, 318 batting average against Aaron Harang. And that one's going to drop in. That's their first hit. Now batting. Well, you got to love Texas to see this guy get on base with two outs right here with that base hit. Now Adrian it's up to his teammates to figure out a way to get him across the plate. Let's check out where Prince Fielder's production ranks in the league this year. First in batting average with runners in scoring position. First in RBIs. And as you can see, he's not just a guy to look for contact. He goes up there looking to slug. Ranked in the top ten in the league in slugging percentage. Ball one started off the at-bat. It's 1-0. Oh. That one taken by Balfrey for a strike. Oh. And he watches the low pitch from Harang. Now the 2 1 pitch popped up should be playable behind the plate. Oh. And look for a moment like he had a chance to make that play but not to be. Here's the pitch swung on hit by Beltray and in there at least for a single as it gets down and not stopping there. He's going for it. Fielder scores. Now batting. For the Texas Rangers. Now pitcher making a mistake right here, leaving it Number right 14, over the heart of the plate. Alex he squares Rodriguez. it up, drives it, good contact at the plate to drive in a run. Most of those kind of pitchers are going to get hit. That's an RBI knock. Runner over at third and standing in A-Rod. What we're seeing here is just a great push. They've been able to jump out in front here in this ball game. You love to get the other team down early. Ball one. Well, you always want to be the team that jumps out early, guys, especially when you can provide that valuable run support for your start. 1-0 now. Right and he one. takes a called strike to make it 1-1. This kind of start means a lot to a starter, kind of approach where you can kind of take each at bat, do what you want to do, and uh, not be overly worried. You know, don't be mistaken. It doesn't just affect the pitcher here. It also oh. affects the opposing lineup. They know now they've got some ground they need to make up. You're Rodriguez out. watches that one go by strike three. They come out strong, putting a run on the board early. 
Texas out in front, one to nothing. Michael Pineda is going to be pitching. He's starting the game for Texas. Steve will be watching how he approaches this Angels lineup. Uh, for Michael Pineda, one of the best young live arms in the game. Real good stuff. The ball explodes out of his hand. An explosive fastball and a devastating breaking pitch as well. And a developing feel for a changeup. And Chu makes the play. That's one down. They had him play perfectly. You pitch to your defense. They hit the right spot in the pitcher. The outfielder was where he should be. They make the out. And in the batter's box, it's Gillespie. I don't know if you have a chance to see his last ball game, but he picked up two hits in that one. Swing the bat well. First pitch was a strike. 0-1 oh now. Let's go, Halo. Let's go, Angels. A shot up the middle. And there it is. That's their first hit of the ball game. You've got a moment to check the lineup for the Angels. A scouting report, John. Who are we watching for today? Well, there isn't anything Albert Pujols can't do in a batter's box. Power, plate discipline. He is the complete package. Even in the on-deck circle, he's still a threat because managers have to figure out a way to manage around him. Now a chance to see how the Rangers' defense looks. Now, John, anyone in particular that uh, we want to keep an eye on? Well, the natural Josh Hamilton is the guy you have to watch. No matter what position he's playing, left, center, or right, he's the best fielder on the field at any one of those positions. Just so fluid and graceful in his movements. I tell you, if there's one guy I wish I could have played the outfield like, probably be Josh Hamilton. Line drive fouled oh, off towards first. And Pineda does not get that one in. But look at what Trout's been doing. He's been an absolute menace at the plate, stringing a ton of hits together, going 13 in his last 33. And with him in the middle of that lineup, they count on him to bring those runners in. And he's doing it for him. Got him there. That was a nice strikeout. And a chance here with two down for Albert Pujols. For his team, he's number two in hits. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. Here's a swing and a ground ball. And he'll step on first to retire the side. No runs on a base. Well, overcast day for our Number afternoon game. Josh Hamilton. And Josh Hamilton to bat. Strike one. Harang gets him with the swinging strike. Well, he wasn't trying to hit a single the other way with that swing. He's trying to take that ball out of the ballpark. Let me tell you, if he gets another pitch in that location, look out. We might have a souvenir. Here it comes. That one fouled off by Hamilton. Oh! And harangue outside the zone for a ball. A great movement on that two-seam fastball, trying to start it on the corner, running it off the plate. The hitter just laid off. And Josh Hamilton swings right through that pitch for strike three. Paycam's going to show us the four-seam fastball here. Two straight fastballs. He still couldn't catch up with it. Well, the pitcher comes back with a fastball right after he threw one and gets the K. You know he's throwing gas out there. Now batting with one away. Here's Denard Span. Last year, the average for him, 240 against the Angels. Strike Got him to chase that one away. Strike one. Well, that two-seam fastball down and away. It's awfully tough to center that ball and make solid contact. That time, he couldn't even make any contact. And Escobar picks it up. Out number two. Well, let's see how the top hitting teams measured up last season, courtesy of State Farm. Number one, the Angels. Second, the Rangers. In third, the Tigers. Fourth spot held with the Royals, and it's the Yankees, number five. Well, I wouldn't want to be a pitcher in this game, Gary. I mean, if you're looking to get through a bunch of quick innings, it might not happen in this one. Two of the better teams last season in the league in batting average. These guys have the ability to put the ball in play, and when they do, they usually get hits doing it. This is going to be a tough battle for these pitchers here today. Fastball just misses. He runs it to three and zero. Well, he might have the green light right here, 3-0. Let's see if he's swinging. Here it comes, 3-0. Not looking at a fastball, 3-1 now. As a hitter, you kick yourself because you wish you didn't have to take in this situation. 
That's a pitch you could do something with. Full count. Fastball is in there. Now 3-2. Now the 3-2 pitch. Makes contact. Uh, it is going to be fouled. The fly ball deep and off to the left. Harang readies the full count pitch. And he fouls another one off. Well, any time in a bat gets extended like it has, you have to foul off tough pitches. And that right there, that slider, was a tough, tough pitch to foul off. But give the hitter credit. He's staying alive. And that one's put away to retire the side. No hits, nobody left on. And for those of you catching up with us, hi. I'm Gary Thorne, Number along with John Clark and Steve Phillips, bringing you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. Pineda sends the 0-1 pitch. Swings and grounds this one to the right side. Foul. The pitch. Ball. And that's high, one and two. Now, I'm not sure I like this cut fastball up in the zone right here. It's a pitch you want to get down in the zone to run off the corners. Don't leave it over the front. Fastball swung out and missed, struck him out one away. Well, he tried to get a piece of that one and at least follow it off. But that ball up and in, he couldn't quite catch up to it. Right three. Simmons in the box. Liner between first and second. And he steps on first. That's the second out. And Escobar settles in. Good things have been happening in a terrific stretch he's on right now. Going 18 for his last 54 at bats. Took a few weeks for him to get rolling, but once he has, he has been hot. Throws the first side is retired. And they aren't able to get anything going in this half inning. Three up, three away. And to look inside Angel Stadium here in Anaheim. Not so much ocean breeze as we might like to see. It's a warm day. Jimenez at the plate. He'll start things off here in the third inning. 0-1 is the count now as we get going in the third. You know, to be effective, you've got to mix your pitch types and speed. Here's what we've seen from this pitcher today. What's your take, guys? Well, the thing that stands out to me is the fact that he's thrown strikes and he's commanded the strike zone, and he's not been predictable. If a pitcher becomes predictable, he becomes easy to hit. And he needs to stay focused right here and not get off track. He knows what his plan is. Change speeds, change locations, change pitches, move the ball around. Swing and a miss on the slider. One out. This pitch has a little life to it at 84 on the gun. It's a pretty good movement. Andrew. Well, two strikes, you have to try to fight off this pitch. You have to think away and adjust in. They went away, but he couldn't make contact. And we've got Andrus batting. Elvis Andrus had a breakout year in 2010. He continued to build on that with another strong outing in 2011. He has everything you want from a guy near the top of the order. A lot of speed and a good eye. And Andrus, three straight years now for him. We has top 30 stolen bases, 37 picked up last year. You know, he's so young and athletic, he's going to continue to grow and read the pitchers, but that speed is explosive. And where the power fell back a little bit, I think he's got power in that bat. We're going to see more of it in the future. And be sure to tune in next Sunday. It's going to be three to Lewinsky and the Toronto Blue Jays. They take their game to Boston to challenge the Red Sox at Fenway, and it'll get going at 6 p.m. Looking forward to that one, Gary. That's going to be some kind of ball game to tune into. And it's Shin Su Chu with Blake. Batting one for five lifetime off Aaron Harang. Here's the delivery. Outside as Chu will take that for a ball. A harangue is just an intimidating force out there. What an effort today. Now one of the keys to a successful day on the mound. Can you generate strikes going outside the strike zone? Here's a look at what we've seen today. Well, he's really locked in right now. Got the hitters off balance, forcing the hitters to swing at pitches outside of the zone, expanding that strike zone. Unpredictability. That's the toughest thing on any hitter. When you can't guess with the pitcher and you can't guess location, that makes it so difficult. And he's there to retire the zone. So a one, two, three inning for Aaron Harang. Rosario will see what he can do as he comes to the plate. He's our first batter, home half of the third is rough. This one's grounded near third, foul. And Pineda misses outside, it is taken for a ball. 
Oh, that's a good pitch with a cut fastball. When you're throwing this pitch, you want to start it on the corner, run it off the plate, trying to get the hitter to chase. Good piece of hitting to lay off. Wow. This one's grounded foul wide of first. One two pitch coming. There's a bullet towards third. Throw oh, got him. That is one heck of a play. You knew we were going to say hot corner on this place. <laughs> There's no question about it. You've got to be scared sometimes down there with the way the ball gets on you. Great reactions and then the accurate throw from his knees. Here's Gentry now as he comes to hit. He's the best base stealer leading the ball club in steals. Oh. No luck that time for Pineda as he misses inside. The guy that gets them going offensively, he can move on the bases and seems to find a way to get in scoring position. Right. And he takes a strike on that fastball. 1-1. One, one. One, one on the way. Swing and a chopper to the second baseman. And they get him at first base. Good hustle by the pitcher to get over there. Now, great work by the pitcher there. He normally not called about to play first base. He does a nice job completing the task and getting the out. And the right fielder batting again. Oh, last time up. Flew out. Cutter misses badly. 1 0. Here's the delivery. Misses outside for ball two. Still going. Fantastic catch by Span. And a quick inning for Michael Pineda. Nothing doing through three innings for him. And we'll see the ring. Coming to back for the and French Fielder will lead it off. Number eight's the American League and runs about it in. Fielder. That one fouled off by Fielder. Oh. Fielder isn't fooled by that one, and Prince has evened up the count. First A.B. of the game, he got a base hit that came off Harang. Well, he's going to definitely be able to approach this at bat with a plan and some confidence. Got a hit on the fastball earlier, so you know he must be able to look for it again. They take care of that one. Early on in the season. Let's take a look, though, where the Rangers sit right now in the American League. First in doubles, first in batting average with runners in scoring position. And they're also number one in ERA. Their pitching staff getting it done better than everybody else right now. You limit the runs scored, you give yourself a chance to win. And it's Adrian Beltre in the box now. Well, Adrian Beltre made another solid contribution to the Rangers last year during the regular season. Played a heck of a third base and was an RBI machine. 0-1 oh, count as that started off with a strike. We are talking about Beltre, uh, maybe the biggest contribution was in the playoffs. He just took over game four of that ALDS series game against the Rays. Well, how about that game? Three home runs for Adrian Beltre, three solo shots in a 4-3 win. So they needed all of those home runs and he stepped up huge. The pitch. And Adrian Beltre looks at that one for a ball and leaving it up. Utilizing the strike zone. Always key to a successful day on the mound. Let's have a look at how this pitcher has mixed his location so far. Well, we've been watching go high, go low. He's forcing this lineup to think a lot. And when hitters think, they're done. And it makes it hard to swing confidently when they don't have their bearings in the box. They don't know location or speed. And right now, they're swinging a high bouncer to second. And they will tag him out, and the side is retired. And a good half inning there, gone in short order in this one. Rangers won. The Angels. Coming to bat for the Los Angeles. And in the batter's box, it's Gillespie. He's picked up a one for one so far. Success to swung on liner to right. Able to make the grab on that one. One out. Well, let's take a look at the Angels and where they ended up last year, ranked wise in the American League. First in batting average, second best in base hits. And you see their ability to manufacture runs and the fact that they were second in the league in stolen bases. Speed was a major part of advancing runners. Trout at the plate. Over his career, 8 for 22 against the Rangers. Hit on the ground. And he cannot come up with it. But he stays with it. Gets the out. That's how you do it. He's retired 10 in a row. 
The hitters are completely overmatched right now. He's got it all going on. And a chance here with two down for Albert Pujols. I mean, he didn't get a chance to see his last ball game. He came up with a solo shot. Took advantage of a right pitcher's mistake. And Pineda gets him swinging. That's good for a strike. But Gary, they just have not been able to mount any offense here today. I mean, one hit into the fourth inning, and, and obviously they haven't scored any runs, so they're going to have to change their approach at the plate. And that's a hit span to field. And that's going to do it in this half inning. Only five pitches to get out of that. See Hamilton here. Couldn't put anything in play and went down swinging the first time against Terang. You've got to go with what's made you successful. That four seam was successful the last time they matched up. I bet he goes right back to it. And the uh, bottom half of the fifth's underway here, 1 0. Well, that's the pitch you want for the ground ball out. That two seam fastball at the bottom of the strike zone. Just couldn't quite catch the plate. Good eye by the hitter. The 1 1 pitch. Strike Hamilton two. watches it. First strike. Now the trend for him has not been very good. He's just 12 for his last 48. And it's been a slow start for him. Just trying to get things right before we get too deep into the season. Smash towards the middle. Oh, that's one away. Let's take a look where the Texas Rangers ended up rank-wise last year in the American League. First in batting average with runners in scoring position. First in hits. And they also scored the most runs in the league. The most potent offense around. It's all about scoring runs, however you're going to do it. And they figured out how to get it done. And it's Denard Spam. One for 12 last season against the Angels playing here in Los Angeles. And he watches the low pitch from Harang. That one is fouled off by Span. Back up the middle. Stepping up to the plate. Well, well Steve, uh, let's take a look. Nice play. Well, I agree, Gary. That's a good play. The manager's going to be very proud of that one. And the number eight spot rolls around. He flew out his last time up. Here's the first pick. Line drive left of the foul. bag and foul. Here's the 0-1 pitch, Harang. Oh. Outside for a ball, 1-1. One one. Oh. Headed for the middle. Oh, that'll move you on the mound. He just barely got out of the way. Now with two down, they've got a man on board. Now a look uh, at the teams who generated the most runs last year, courtesy of State Farm. Number one, the Rangers. The Yankees second. In third, the Angels. Fourth, the White Sox. And it's the Red Sox number five. Well, they might have to replace home plate after this game because these were two of the top teams in, in the league last year in run scored. They love the cross home plate. They get guys on. They score them. And that's what makes these teams so tough to pitch against. Crossball swung on and missed. Side retired. No runs on a hit. And they'll strand. And we'll see the aim. Middle of the line. Up to the plate. Up again their D.H. Steve, how about a look at what Number the pitcher's got done? You well, know, Gary, location means everything, and he's going with a heater. He's not trying to fool him, but he's keeping the ball down, and he's getting him to do what he wants. It's pounded into the ground. Pineda with a delivery. A swing and a fly ball to the left center field. That's one away. A chance here to take a look at the Los Angeles Angels and how they rank in the American League right now. Fourth in triples, fourth in ERA. They also show up in the top five in home runs in their league. So the power is a major part of this club's offense, that ability to bang it over the wall. Goal one, good hard cutter in for a call strike. Well, offensively, they just have not been able to get anything going. With only one runner left on base, so they just need more opportunities and see if they can't capitalize on it. Slider tough to lay off, but it's 2-2. Two -two. 
And a moment here to see how this pitcher has been mixing up his pitches. And you know what I've been noticing? Even before, I was checking out his inside edge info on him. He's definitely going with that cutter more than normal. Well, I'd really love to see him use that change up more. You know, we've seen it in the past from him. But to be able to change speeds and get hitters to get off balance a little bit in the zone. Swing and lined up the middle. That one gets through for a base hit. And that brings up Yanel Escobar. Well, he waited for that one to get deep in the zone, and he put a good swing on it. Now with one out, let's see if they try to move him on. He bounced down his last time. Now the first pitch. Escobar makes contact, fouls it away. Pineda sends the 0-1 pitch. And that's a hit span to field. Two down. Good read off of the bat. A quick jump has to come in on a little bit. It has enough time to put it away. Number 20. Rosario will see what he can do as he comes to the plate. Boy, they knew Pineda could match up well with his team, but he has gone above and beyond. Well, it's uh, truly been a tremendous day on the mound for this man. Here's a breakdown of how he's been mixing up his locations, using that to his advantage. I think he's been in pretty good command in this one. He clearly is hitting his target, if not all the time, at least the majority of the time. No, John, if I'm the pitching coach, I'm going to emphasize just stick with the plan. The plan seems to be working. And this oh. is bounced foul to the left side. Won't offer it to change, and it's two and two. Change up just about had him, but it's full now. Well, he tried to change up right there, but it just stayed down and off the plate. Runner goes 3 2 on the way. Slider called strike three, side is retired. No runs on a base hit. They leave one man off. Lead off hitter, Elvis Andrus. He's the league leader in hits. The first pitch. This one's bounced up the middle. Gillespie. One away. And upcoming for the Angels. We wrap up this Texas series today. We'll get on the road tomorrow. They take on the division rival Athletics. A team that will definitely give them a competitive series. It'll be a three-game series. And they get a look at a team from the senior circuit. San Francisco Giants will be hosting. A lot of road games on the way. Harang delivers the 1-0. And let's the 1 0 pitch go by 1 1. Well, two straight seasons for Shinsu Chu, where he reached 20 homers and 20 stolen bases. Last year, though, he couldn't quite hit that mark. Spent some time on the DL. Curveball misses, and it's 2 and 1. We're talking about Chu and the injuries. He's got to be looking at this year a little skeptically. He ended last year with a left oblique strain. Well, you know, the Indians were out of the race by the time he came back with that injury. He's a major contributor to this team. They just need him healthy, and he's pretty consistently productive. Oh, and that one misses. That'll be ball four. Well, he needs to be careful here. Don't give them free base runners. Make them earn it. Pitcher tried to expand the strike zone to get the hitter to chase, but he didn't chase. Take your base. Losing right now in this ball game, and they may need some help out of the pen. Fresh arm is up. Well, we see some real signs of fatigue out of this pitcher right now. The velocity's dropped. Pitches are flattening out. They need to get somebody in there. Struck him out. That's now number eight in the game. Good movement. 89 miles per hour. Number he came and shows it to you. Adrian Veltrin. I think uh, last couple of pitches he faced, it, it didn't seem like he was ready for that fastball. Yeah, he got some off-speed pitch, the previous pitch, but you should be able to expect to get the bat on that heater, especially with two strikes. And Adrian Beltre stands in. Struck out swinging last time. Fastball in there, 0-1. Well, when you throw the fastball, that's where you want it to go. Now you can elevate a pitch next time around. Oh, tough one to lay off right there, that fastball, one and two. Well, hitters know those two seam fastballs down on the way turn into ground ball out, so they lay off of it, but with two strikes, it's a pitch you have to swing at. Got him, ninth strikeout of the game. And getting it done one more time is Aaron Harang. He's recorded nine strikeouts and counting. And we'll see the Angels.
End of the order is going to try and kick it off offensively. Here's Gentry now with a wiggle wiggle coming to the plate. How's he delivering on these first pitches? Let's look and see. A textbook right here. I mean, take notes, everybody. First pitch strikes equals out. He's retired 11 guys in this game after having gone 0-1 on the count. Line towards third and foul. Third strike, up number one. Well, the slider is his go-to pitch, and it's not surprising. You can see why. Two strikeouts in a row on that hard-breaking, nasty slider. And it rolls around to the top again. Flew out last time. Strike started off the at bat on one. They need more offense right now, Jerry. I mean, you know, only leaving two runners on base. You know, we're moving through the middle part of this game, heading into the later part of the game. I mean, they need to give themselves some opportunities to score runs. Patience at the plate. Get somebody on. And Pineda misses outside. It is taken for a ball. The one-two pitch. Fastball ball just about had him, and it's a two-two count. And he swings and hits this one foul. Foul ball! Here's the pitch. Swung on and ripped towards second. Number seven. On the first, two away. Now look at the standings in the Western Division as we get through the first month of the season. It's brought to you by State Farm. In that first spot, the Rangers. In second place, it's the Astros. Third spot, the Angels. And in fourth, the Mariners. Well, the Rangers making another statement this season that they are the team to beat in the American League West. They showed it last year. They came out again this year and making a statement. Golf strike on a fastball, and it's 0-2. In order to throw that fastball away from the hitter, you have to get great extension out in front. Nice job of pitching. You're Struck him out, and with that, here in the sixth inning, it's over. The shutout's on. Steve, you can just tell by looking at it, he's thinking about it. I guarantee he's bringing it today, no question about it. But I tell you, the offense has... Push across any runs. They've been shut out through the first six. Texas maintaining their advantage. And it's Alex Rodriguez now. He'll lead off the seventh inning. Swing and a ball pop foul down the right field line. Foul! And strike two. Now Aaron Harang. He's got some pitchers to fool around with here. Well, you see that pitch coming in, and it starts at the center of the plate. And all of a sudden, as soon as you start your swing, that's when that slider starts breaking oh. away. Gets out of the strike zone away. He can't stop his swing and swings and misses. Here's the pitch. It's hit foul by Rodriguez. The one two on its way. You're Got out. him. Strikeout number 10 today. Now, King Camp's going to show us a good look at this slider. Number 30. Fantastic piece of pitching to get that out done. Well, that's the part of pitching you love. He's looking for a fastball. He's expecting a fastball. And then just drop one right off the table. What a pitch. And it's Josh Hamilton at the plate. One away. 0 for 2 thus far. That one fouled off by Hamilton. Yeah, with two strikes on him now, Josh Hamilton, he'll protect that strike zone. Well, he missed his spot with that one and got away with it. You'll want to go to the corners with that four-seam fastball. Hit in the air to left center. And Trout, as he gets to it for the up. This ball is hit into the left center field. The center fielder has priority over the left fielder. Good job taking charge. He called him off and made the play. I'll tell you what, this is one of those decisions oh. you can go either way. He's pitched pretty well to this point, but it is getting late. Do you want to take any chances? The manager decides to go to the pen. Fastball just misses, and he falls behind 2-0. Oh. Well, you see, he just missed with that fastball right there away. Let's see if they try to come back inside to try to jam him. Two and and two. a swing and a miss by Span, and the count is now even. Swing and a bouncing ball up the middle. 
Picked up by Pujols. Right. And he's out at first. Good hustle by the pitcher getting off the mound. Oh, that's a good. Now up to the plate. Trout at the plate. He'll start the home half of the seventh. A little warm-up action going in the bullpen. That's a right-hander up and throwing. Well, they're going to wait for the right-handed hitter on deck to get announced, and then they'll probably make the move to the pen. 0-1 the count as we get going here in the bottom of the summer. Well, he's really only held them to two hits so far today, Gary. So he's been on top of his game out there. He's made it look easy, and, you know, it could possibly be a day the bullpen doesn't have to get used and can get some rest. Pineda with the delivery. Oh, what a drive. He smashed it. They take care of that one. Well, big out right there. Listen, he's on his way to a shutout right now. They've not been able to muster much against him. This is critical time of the game. Getting a little fatigue, and they've seen him a couple times already. He's got to make his pitch. And it's Albert Pujols in the box now. Well, you knew that one of the greatest hitters over the last 10 years, historic numbers for free agent market, you know they were going to line up to get him. The Angels oh. proved to be the team he wanted to play for. And uh, the numbers in that contract he got with the Angels for pool hole show just how valuable teams thought he was. I mean, there's a swing and a drive deep to left field as he drops back and puts it away. Okay, Gary, for every pitcher, it's a little bit different. You know, how long they can go into a game. But right now, he still looks pretty strong right now. Two outs in the seventh. I think he's got a chance to shut them down the rest of the way. Swing and a hot shot. Number seven. And he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. Well, if I have to predict this. In the box, their rookie second baseman. Had a single in his last time up. First pitch way out of the zone. Ball one. Well, any hitting coach will tell you, you can't hit that good high fastball, especially if it's out of the strike zone. So grounded softly to short. Simmons. In time for the out. State Farm takes a look at the lineups with a pop in their bat from last season. The Yankees, number one. Second, the Rangers. In third, the Angels. Tigers, fourth. And at number five on the list, the White Sox. Well, not a lot of singles in this one, I don't think, today, Gary. I mean, these two teams love to slug it out. They love to hit doubles, triples, and especially the home run ball. So if you're a pitcher, you better be very careful because when you make a mistake, these two teams will make you pay. Hard sinker. Misses. Two and two. That one's drilled to short. Simmons. In time for the outfit. Here's Elvis Anderson, two down. Lifetime record, one for five off Smith. Ball. That's low and outside, 1-0. Oh. Anders makes contact, and that's going to be a foul ball. Line towards first. That one headed into the corner. Going to try for at least a double. Now and these are the numbers that Alvis Andrews has been putting up so far this month, guys. Number first in doubles, first in batting average. He's also a hit machine, leading the league in hits right now, swinging the bat well. Every time he puts it in play, he seems to find a hole. Ball. And it's Shin Su Chu with Blake. Locked in his last plate appearance. 1-0 count. He took that last one, and it was out of the zone. Here's the 1-0. He watches this one right down the middle, 1-1. One one. Well, the hitter's got to regret that one. He missed his pitch right down the heart of the plate. Four-seam fastball. That hurts. Big swing and a miss. Sin Shu Chu. Strike three. He's out of there. So they pick up a hit, but leave a man at second and fail to score. Now, Angels. Home half of the eighth inning. Simmons is the batter. Well, a moment here to look at the quality. A swing line to left center. And that's going to be a base hit. Time run is on. Well, anytime you can get on base with no outs to start an inning, you know that an extra base hit will probably score you. But even if the batter behind you can figure out a way to get on base, now you have the potential for a huge inning. Escobar in the batter's box. He flew out his last time up. 0 for 2 thus far. Starts him out with a fastball for a strike. A career 267 number off Texas. Oh! 
Escobar makes contact, fouls it away. He swings down and really hit that. This one's going to be fielded by Span. That's one away. And that'll hold the runner at first. Now batting for the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. Now Rosario will see what he can do as he comes to the plate. Called out on strikes in his last appearance. Okay, they're going to have to give him the green light at first base. He has good speed. They're down by a run. He's got to get in scoring position. Pitch on the way. Now one ball, one strike. He watched that fastball that was in there. Up the middle. Terrific stop, Andrus. Great play made by the middle of the infield. You love that kind of help. He stretched out as far as he could possibly go to be able to make the play. Gold glove effort. A look at the Rangers for upcoming schedule. This Los Angeles series ends today. They attempt to repeat their recent history, the Seattle Mariners. It's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Their homestand continues with another team, the Oakland Athletics. So quite a few home games they'll be looking to capitalize. All one fastball and a call strike. Well, they're a strike away right now from getting out of this jam and holding on to the lead. Change up, swung on and missed. That will retire the side. Well, they still can't buy a run. They've been held scoreless through it. Texas in charge here. And Brent Fielder will lead it off. We'll try it again here. Just one for three thus far. This is a good move right here. You're bringing in the better defensive player. Defense helps you win games. Lined up the middle. And that's going to be a base hit for Fielder. I mean, Take a look down there in the bullpen. They've got a lefty up and throwing. Well, I, I don't see him coming in just yet. I mean, with a, with a righty in the on-deck circle, I don't think that's the matchup they want. Here is Adrian Beltre. Here's the first pitch. Gets away from him. Pauses and now the 1 0. Fastball misses badly. He's behind 2 0. Now the 2 0 pitch. And here's a sinker for a called strike. 2 and 1. Boy, he's got some kind of sinker ball right there. It looks like it's starting at the knees and it drops right down to the ankles. Swung on and popped way up high. That's one away. I mean, we're talking about the sinker ball here. That's how you get those big ground ball outs and double plays. Well, the hitter thinks he's going to center it, and he's hitting the top part of the ball, pounding it right down into the ground. And here's Alex Rodriguez, a run. Two hits, 13 at bats last year off the Angels here in Anaheim. And he looks at a slider that's in there, one and one. This is where you want to go with the breaking ball to the outside corner. Paint the black. Get the call. The hitter gave up on it. He got the pitch he wanted. Here we go, Angel. Sinker's taken. Strike three call. Out number two. Check out the movement of this on KK. Clocks in at 85 miles per hour. Got him looking on a breaking ball. A pitch that moves like that is something that is very useful to a pitcher if he's throwing it with confidence. And you can see that what a weapon that is. It's Josh Hamilton. Slider swung on and missed. 0 oh and 1. Well, anytime you can spot your slider down in the strike zone, you're going to have a lot of success in the game. I tell you what, any hitter will tell you, anytime that slider's down in the zone, it's almost impossible to hit. That one fouled off by Hamilton. Yeah, that one is swung out of this, and Josh Hamilton ends his A.B. No runs on a hit, and they'll strip. The fans are on the edge of their seats, Gary. So am I. Well, it looks like we've got an injury here. He's going to have to leave the ball game. Bottom half of the last inning. This is what you live for. Move to the front of your seat and take a look. Now, Gary, this is why you buy a ticket to come to the game. Two of the best squaring off. Let's see who can win. Collison will be coming in to pitch in this game. Texas is turning it over to their closer here. Good change up. It's quickly 0-2. When you can mix speeds and hit your spots, this is what you get. Nice pitch. Fast 
fastball in there. Called third strike. One up. Very little movement on this pitch at 93 miles per hour, courtesy of KK. Well, this is just one of those pitches that catches the outside part of the plate. He could do nothing with him. Boy, John, did he freeze on that one? Well, sometimes a hitter, you get a pitch you just don't know how to handle, and by the time you figure it out, it's too late, and you're sitting back on the bench. Strike one. And in the batter's box, it's Gillespie. Struck out swinging his last time up. And this at bat already 0-1. First pitch was a strike. He let that four hit sharply towards the hole. He's out at first base. Nice play on the cover. Uh, that's a well-executed play right there, Gary. Hunter ball got the first base. Touched the bag. Thought he might have had a strike out there, but he's involved in the out anyway. Trout at the plate. Last season, 8 for 22 against the Rain. And it's no coincidence that most of the at-bats ended in his favor. They have to figure out a way to pitch tougher to him. And that's a strike. Mike Trout now is going to have to take a don't-get-struck-out defensive stance here. Fans are on their feet right now. They know two strikes on the hitter. They need to keep this thing going. Hit in the air. This one's going well into the stands off to the right. Cutter thought he had him, but it's one and two. Oh, it's a good pitch with a cut fastball. When you're throwing this pitch, you want to start it on the corner, run it off the plate, trying to get the hitter to chase. Good piece of hitting to lay off of it. Swung on, hit on the ground, gets through, tying run on. He right, takes his one-two pitch down in the zone. He's able to go down and get it. Get a good part of the bat on the ball and pick up the base hit. That's a tough one. Here's a swing and a liner to left center. And there we go, the winning run on base. The throw. Coming to back. I'll tell you, you have to like the hustle right here. Now, he is the time, so he's in scoring position if he stops at second. But he feels he can make it. And you have to tip your cap to him. Good hustle, and he gets in safely. Up again now, the number five spot. Well, this could very well be their last shot. Possible tying and winning runs on base. He just needs to concentrate on putting it in play oh, and hitting it hard. Doing it with two down. Swung on grounder. This might be it. And on to first for out number three. And that's going to do it. Fans going home unhappy in this one. Their offense just did not get it done. And the opponent.